wherever you are, there are microbes around you, on you, and even inside you. Microbes live in complex communities called microbiomes. When these communities are in balance, they benefit us. But when they are out of balance, they can create problems for our health and the environment. Microbes don't just inhabit these environments uh, where they constitute a microbiome. They actually perform integral roles within these environments. So they interact with each other to be ultimately greater than the sum of their parts, uh, contributing to the health of these ecosystems. Historically, we've studied microbes one at a time, but it's becoming clear that we're missing a big part of the picture. Microbiomes are impactful for us in a number of different ways. In fact, that really is the unit of importance of a microorganism, is its community. All of the microbes that we are interacting with, we're really interacting with microbiomes. What one microbe can do on its own often doesn't tell you what it can do in a community context. A microbiome can be thought of as kind of like a factory. Like on the outside, you see this big box, but inside there are many different machines that work together to produce whatever that factory produces. So some raw materials come in and all these different machines, each one doing an individual task, works together to then produce a product like a car. In nature, microbes can be found in human and animal guts, in oceans, ponds, and soils, and almost any other natural environment. Researchers at the Innovative Genomics Institute in Berkeley are focusing on deepening our understanding of microbiomes, developing CRISPR-based precision microbiome editing tools, and applying them to real-world applications in human health and agriculture. We don't understand really across all microbial communities, are there general rules that govern how they assemble, how they interact, dynamically how they might change under different conditions. And so one of the most important things we're doing here at IGI is trying to lay down a rule set for microbial community functionality. With a clear picture of how a microbiome functions, the IGI team is developing the tools to modify a microbiome that is causing problems. My lab is focused on developing new and improved microbiome editing technologies. So one of our objectives is to build a roadmap of microbial editability. The goal is to apply this roadmap and gene editing tools to real world problems caused by microbiomes. So the focus of my lab is on applications of microbiome editing. So that is taking some of the tools that we're developing for uh, implementing precise control of microbiomes and bringing those to these impactful microbial communities like the ones in human guts, in livestock, in the roots of plants, in industry. Microbiome editing tools would allow us to change specific genes in specific microbe species, neutralize a harmful mutation, or wipe out specific microbes that are disrupting an otherwise healthy microbiome. In humans, this could translate to a single dose treatment to a newborn to prevent asthma or autoimmune disorders. With livestock, it could mean a treatment that prevents production of greenhouse gases. And in the soil, precision microbiome editing could help store more carbon. These are just a few of the potential applications. Just like CRISPR itself, which came from bacteria, we see big promise coming from the smallest places.